economics yeah. but the material they provide if they give it to you you need this you will be able to we had a training about the information technology some we own some special agenda to show the media that we all political parties are together for that so everybody can use that flag yes
Muzaffar Chaudhary. Chaudhary. Yeah, Muzaffar yeah, Chaudhary. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. nice gentleman. Yeah.
And that is how the charity grew in scattered from the building and the need to reach out to communities irrespective of their background, need for the peace and reconciliation of art and everything we do. As a charity, we are now involved in 140 countries around the world, providing emergency support and hospital help for Christians, lesbians, and the rest, and the needs of all the other communities with whom we have such close ties. And always the same objective is there to bring peace in face of conflict, understanding in the face of bigger, and to hope in place of bigger. It is a great privilege to work alongside the authorities in the community, not least with their inquiry, which was mentioned just earlier, but of course, with the party parliamentary work on international careers, we believe which case the church is a stable as a part of the party in the Muslim community here in the UK. And the need to stand up for religious freedom could not be more important than it is today. I have travelled to Syria four times every year for the last four years, and I remember one man describing. Christian 
solidarity worldwide. It's also a great pleasure because I actually live just a few miles from here in Farham, so it wasn't very far for me to come today. CSW is a, a Christian advocacy organisation specialising in uh, freedom of religion or belief uh, and through advocacy and research. And as Christians, we stand with people of all faiths and none who face injustice because of their religion or belief. Today, we are witnessing increasing religious repression across the world. According to the Pew Forum, 79% of the world's population live in countries with high or very high restrictions on religious freedom. And we recognise that your community, the Anadar community, is suffering. CSW regularly raises these injustices with the UK government, and it gives me a great pleasure to say that I am able to work closely with uh, your distinguished Anadar, uh, 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 human rights and envoy, Minister Lord Ahmed who is a good friend and great supporter of religious freedom around the world. It's good to be working with him as a member of the Foreign Secretary's Human Rights Advisory Group here in the UK. We also work with the US government. Uh, we work at the UN and, uh, and at the EU. In Pakistan, we met community leaders of victims of abuses. We listened to and documented their horrific accounts of target killings, attacks on mosques, and discrimination faced by young Ahmadis in the school system. As we have shared your grief and sorrow, we have raised awareness of these cases of injustice. In the face of overwhelming intolerance, it is both your motto, love for all, hatred to none, together with the humility and outstanding attitude and the spiritual duty to speak up for and to support one another, especially in these very troubled times. Please be assured of our commitment to you through our voices, our actions and our prayers. I believe we have a shared vision to create a world that is free from religious persecution, where everyone is free to practice their religion or belief. We stand
He is an amazing, amazing human being uh, as a magnetic force which attracts people to this Jalsa Salama. And I'm so pleased to see that people, Christians, Jews, Sikhs, myself, have brought you greeting to demonstrate their love for your community. That you are a role model community, very disciplined, productive, peace loving community, building bridges in this fractured world, and we want to salute you and Hazrat Sahib for their visionary leadership, which has given you a special place in the heart of so many people. We have seen how important religious freedom is. Our Sikh gurus pay supreme sacrifices for religious freedom in India. Because religious freedom is the basic right of every individual. And the country which suppress people are not going to go very far. Because they create conflict within the section of their own people. No country can move forward by systematically discriminating against a section of our own population. So therefore, I am very happy that the new Prime Minister in Pakistan, Imran Khan, has opened the door to our community with a Kathanpur corridor. That is an amazing, amazing, a gigantic step toward peace and harmony in the subcontinent. We have seen innocent lives being destroyed, innocent family destroyed, billions of pounds of money spent on arms achieved very little. So we would like to wish the new Prime Minister of Pakistan every success in his endeavor to bring peace and also we would like to see that diversity in Pakistan coming back and is celebrated like it celebrated Great Britain. Today this country is so strong because of its diverse population. There's a strength. It is the will of God to have so many different types of people in the world, each bringing a unique qualities to make this world a better place. So ladies and gentlemen, I salute you, I wish you yet another successful Tansa Salana, your amazing community, and I pay you to you from the core of my heart. Thank you. Chief of the Cumberland tribe for the last 12 years. This tribe is the oldest settler in West Canada. Chief Champion is the first president of the Army, and it is a pleasure to have him at this service of honor. I invite him to come and say a few words.
for bringing us all together. Back home, we always thank the Creator, the creator first and foremost, the, the start of uh, meetings, gatherings, uh, and at the end of our days. So by thanking the Creator for bringing us together, we want to acknowledge our ancestors who cleared the way for our people. We, are stand we remain proud of their leadership, their vision regarding our coexistence with the settler society. This any them up, our elders knew clearly, even during their time, that change was coming, just as it is in our time. We have waited a long time for Canada to respect our, and honor our treaty. Many times we have felt the delay was deliberate and tied to the federal and provincial government policies of neglect and extinguishment. We often think that the colonial strategy which includes the totalitarian regime of the Indian Act and residential schools for a complete assimilation was and remained the plan that we will forget our treaty and disappear. With that, love for all, hatred for none. Thank you for inviting us to Jalsa Salana and the Nazca Mitten. Thank you. Thank you.
we are 24 hour in every country of the world always live program going on and the same program is going all over the world in various languages Then when we put it up, that is the flag. That is always on Friday afternoon. Yes, sir. Three other hospitals that's been finished, and this is one is in Mali in um, Africa, Benin in Africa, and Senegal in, in Africa. And then there's a big So it's in a pediatric unit, and there's lots of people who have difficulty with walking and things, so they orthopedic. So these are the three main areas that this hospital will cover. So this is the project. The existing land is like this, and uh, the final product will be this, and I think it's, uh, uh, it's likely to finish in the next for free. There is no religious area. It doesn't matter whether somebody is Afro-Caribbean, white, Pakistan, whatever. And there is no requirement whether somebody is Christian, Jew, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, whatever. So it, it, does, it does not matter. It's, it's the humanity service. It's nothing to do with anybody's religion or color. So that's right. That's, that's right. And uh, those, who, those who can afford but feel that we want to go to these hospitals because their services are good. They can come and if they want to pay, they want to donate something, they can do that. But mainly, it is free of service because it's for the local population. So it's for, it's for their service. So the majority of the thing take it for a longer period. So study and knowledge and that kind of thing. So the uh, schools and this is why our project goes towards this. 
and the next one goes towards the knowledge for life. So there are lots and lots of most wonderful projects that you can now. Very strongly with this. You can read through it in the last time, and then the 227 that just happened, and here are we right now. So there are so many projects that are in the schools where the children who do not have access to any school education or knowledge, it is truly impressive to see. So then, every year, every year, these get added together. So this is so far where we are now, um, and um, that's what it seems to be. Mm -hmm. uh, in Ivory Coast, for example, we have around 300 installations. Our challenge now is to work out how, how we can effectively maintain them. So that means finding out when there's a problem and then doing something about it. So just a few days ago, I started some research on this. And I found out through a newspaper article that up in Oxford University that somebody who's invented something called smart what that, what smart what that means is this is a typical so when people come to draw the water, they do this kind of action. So they put they put the chip in the head. So when people draw water, it causes some vibration. The computer system stores those vibrations, and then that is analyzed by artificial intelligence. It gives some meaningful information. So the type of information we get back is uh, it gives you the depth of the water, for example. So we can work out how much water is available there. We can also tell you how, many, how much is used every day. But more importantly, we can tell you that, for example, we can send you an SMS message saying that the water pump is not working. So we can use that useful information to do something about it. And the research they've done, it used to take about 30 days to fix it. Using this method, they got it down to two or three days. So I rang this gentleman in Sweden during the research. Yes. How many we have in Pakistan? So, in Pakistan, in Kabul, around 100 years, more than 100. So this protects the water source. As you can see from this, this is desert area. So we can't put any complex solution in there, so we can get a rope. So you can't get any simpler than this. The rope and the bucket method. So if anything goes wrong, they can just deal with it. And where did you say that was in Pakistan? Uh, Sapur. Oh, Sapur. It's the poorest part of Pakistan. Uh, so yes. God is there. Yes, and uh, I'll tell you one more. The government has done only seven hundred well over there. And their cost is three thousand per well. Our is less than one thousand pounds. And two thousand pounds government siphons out. So that's the problem in the country. That is the people part of the bear the people. You see our, our culture twenty first is quite different from other charities. When I go out to do projects, I pay for my own tickets. When I get there, I don't stay in flash hotels. I stay in a local villa locals. So this saves a lot of money. This is why more than 90% of what I get goes to the community. All volunteers. And also, there's an hour yes. Is there any problem in any country? Say there's a natural calamity. Whatever it is, and the help goes to them. Our local community helps without any money. That's why whatever we only do, hundred percent goes on this, and that is the only unique charity and organization in the world. Nobody is that unique. Even if we go for volunteering, we pay our own life, we pay our own everything, and then still we go there. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So it doesn't matter who they are.
fundraising is such that it will not be limited to families only, but for all vulnerable people who wish to serve through this organization will be given an opportunity to do so. We are like all the And then in 2015, uh, our existing exemplary uh, basis will go to the first all humanities and one is in our own category in the second week. Every person associated with us, like you can be organized first, but if part of the available body or not, work as a do as a worker as like volunteers. So even if it means that you can only give one week of a year or one week in five years, this is the table to do that. And these are the biggest things that when you this is the kind of a journey of um, this. So when it was established. Uh, main thing started off in, in Africa, uh, where the team was there. But then, next thing came was the uh, famine that happened in uh, Africa, in Liberia, Iraq, and Iran. So, 80,000 killings were there in Pakistan when there was an uh, earthquake happened. So, humanity first went there to support that. Then, this was um, another. Was in Africa, what was happening in 2008 2009? The drop, the drop because of the. And we know and thank your holiness for the leadership you have given in the strong argument for peace and the resolution of such conflicts to bring stability to nations. But through that uncertainty, unfortunately, we have also seen a rise in. So, uh, so that, that segment is now near completion. So this was a wall, we used a polarite right here, and uh, that just gave people you know, to express their uh, whatever they Now, this segment. Yeah. Straight down here. Straight. So where are the end? Is that right? We travel. Yeah. So much. Now, right. Yeah. Now you are up. <laughs> yeah, good man. You feel accomplished? Yeah. Oh, no. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
information gatherings. something which is beneficial for everybody then I use that words and then I put out this photo yeah, and then I tell him that I have to prepare myself for defense as well because anybody can question me Saj you are putting this photo with the Mishtaq and you are writing this word how? is it fake news or what? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> 